Hello, everybody. Hello, Facebook world. Happy Wednesday. It is our Wednesday Facebook Live at noon, and we have a very special guest today, Amy Kinney with Let's Slumber It. Um, so I was introduced to Let's Slumber It. Slum Let's <laughs> <laughs> it's been a year now, I think. I think it was a year ago where we did a TP party. Um, it was like in the midst of COVID and we were trying to figure out something fun and unique to do. And Amelia, my daughter, still like asks them, <laughs> like, when are we doing that again? I'm like, I don't know, but we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so tell me a little bit about yourself and your family and let's slumber it. Um, my name is Amy Kinney, and so my husband and I are originally from Iowa, born and raised. Um, then we moved to Texas for like 15 years in the Dallas area. Um, I was a nurse until 2016 when I had my son decided to stay home. Um, then 2017, we decided we need to get back to Iowa where we belong. <laughs> so we came home in December. Um, we were the crazy people out in our yard running around in snow because my kids were so excited and everyone else was like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> um, and so then last, I guess, February of 2020, my daughter decided she wanted a tent sleepover and I searched all over Des Moines and couldn't find anybody who did it. Um, so I went ahead and got everything. We did her party. Uh, she wanted a really unique theme, which was paleontology, geology. So we did it really specific to her. And then I realized, you know, there might be a need for this. Like, um, you know, not only unique themes, kids are into all different things, um, but things to do at home. Um, and then the pandemic hit, so we obviously put it on the back burner. Um, and then last summer, it kind of, well, your help and um, a couple other local businesses helped me out and it just kind of got the word out and it started. Right, right. And so how many, so you have, like, I follow you on Facebook. And if you're not following Let's Slumber It on Facebook, go give her a follow. <laughs> but she's always posting, like, these awesome things, like, things that I don't even think about. So how do you, how many things do you have? And how do you, like, get the ideas for those? Um, so I actually have 38 themes so far. Oh. Um, we're developing one, or I'm developing one for this summer. Um, kind of, I'll show you, kind of like the summer vibe. Oh, yeah. Um, with the kind of boho tassels, that kind of oh, stuff, um, which is more of kind of like a glam, uh, you know, good vibe feel. And but it, I try to get themes that mix and match so then I can easily switch out some pillows and add little fun things like this and make it like a, a little kid's jungle. Right. Party. Um, I think I try to think of, you know, mainstream themes, llama, boho has been really popular, that kind of stuff. But then my kids have always been the kids that like the, the different themes like science and yeah. paleontology and stuff like that. So I try to think, you know, outside the box a little bit, kind of to hit right. all areas. Um, there's been a couple of people who've come to me with ideas. Like um, we kind of tweaked the boho for a glam boho for someone who, you know, likes that. And so I kind of work with people to, to develop what they need. Right. And so you have 38. So how do you, where do you store all of these? <laughs> like I would go crazy. My number one question. <laughs> organize. I would be like, uh, I don't know where that is, but so where do you store all this? Where, how do you keep it all organized? Um, so I have it all organized by theme. Um, the pillows obviously are just, I use right. covers. So I don't have pillows for every single setup. I use covers that I can change out. Um, so I keep everything together, but we have, I recently moved, I kind of outgrew our um, office closet. And so I moved into an unfinished space in our house. So I just have tubs and tubs and tubs, you know, based on theme and then all the pillows kind of go together. And um, I do cool. try to mix and match things um, because, you know, of space. I can only yeah. go. <laughs> right. So how big, so I know, cause we did a, we did a sibling party. How big do your parties go? Like, so, I mean, if someone reaches out to you and is like, how many people can you do in one slumber party? Um, I mean, really I have 22 teepees, so uh, you can do as many as you want, but um, they are larger than you think. Um, yeah. So a lot of times when I get there, people are like, oh, that's so I do encourage people to measure because the the teepees are almost five, five by five foot. And then they're five foot, three inches tall. Um, I have changed a little bit to a, a smaller bed, a more durable, half memory foam, half air. But that's helped, too, because air mattresses are super bulky. Yeah. Um, they don't really have a lot of give. So if I get to a living room where I can't fit all the beds, at least these, these do help and they're more durable. 
Um, right. But I mean, the, the largest I've done so far is 10 and that took up a whole basement, but it was a super fun right. party. <laughs> right. Yeah, I can imagine. So what, um, what was I? Oh, ages. What, what ages do you recommend for this? Like how young, how old? I mean, I imagine anyone really, if you wanted to do a TP party, right? But I mean, yeah, totally. Um, so I just did an adult party last weekend. It was so fun. Um, collaborated with a bunch of other local businesses to make it amazing. Um, and that was for a 40th birthday party. And she said they had a blast just relaxing oh, cool. Manny's petties at home, you know, just chilling, eating your own snacks. Um, I, I recommend five and up just yeah. because, you know, the TPs technically due to manufacture are for three and up. Right. Um, and I don't, I don't think a lot of three and four year olds are probably going to sleep overnight. This right. Weekend. Um, so I just recommend five and up. That's usually the age, you know, that, that yeah. will stay the night in a TP and <laughs> you know, right. You know, kids don't get scared and have to go home and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so uh, you, before we went live, you told me you had a fun summer announcement to make. Do you want to share the new offering that you have coming up? Yes. Yeah, so we are just kind of in the development stage of offering like the, the low table kind of glam picnic setups. Um, they're going to come like fully dressed. So tables, plates, you know, everything, the, the decor down the middle, they can be themed to match your, um, tent sleepover. Um, they can the, te the tents are for indoor only, but these can be used indoor outdoor. Um, so it's a fun way to like kind of have a place for them to eat and then it can change into a craft station and then in breakfast in the morning. So right. it's kind of a purpose, um, but you can keep it all right there with your tent set up and they can have a blast. So I'll get some pictures out soon of that. We my husband is my master craftsman, so he makes my <laughs> dreams come true. <laughs> you tell him. I have the same same puzzle. I'm like looking on Pinterest. I'll be like, um, I need this. So can we like figure that yep. out? So, yep, yeah, that's totally how it is. So I'm like sending him pictures. Like this is exactly what I want, and he's he's making it happen. So I'll get mm -hmm. some pictures soon. So with the picnic tables, can you do just picnic tables like for an afternoon if you wanted to do that without the teepees? Like if you wanted to set it up at a park or something? I mean. I'm, I'm trying to decide how that would work. Um, so my preferred would be as an add-on to a tent party, just because right. I'm already going. Um, it's hard for me to get with my schedule. It's hard for me to get to a location in the morning and then in the afternoon to pick it up. Right. Um, but so I might keep it kind of Ankeny specific for that, just because I am right here. Um, I, I need to probably upgrade my van because my van can only fit so much. And so that really does limit what I can do out of town. Right. Um, but like I said, you know, I might, I might see if I could just, you know, graduation parties, baby showers, that kind of stuff in Ankeny, I could get to pretty quickly and, and pick up and get it out of your way too. So, yeah. So how many, that brings up a, how many sleepovers do you do then per weekend? So, I mean, like, Cause you have to, you go set up and then you have to go back the next day and tear it down. Right. So, yeah, how, do you, so. how do you keep that all? You have to be pretty organized for that. <laughs> yeah, I try. So um, I do have a, a new person working with me. Her name is Victoria. She's amazing. Um, and so we do go, we are able to go pretty fast. And since we do have 22 TPs, I mean, sometimes I have them all out. Um, right. So it kind of just depends on the size of the event and the location. So I do get a, pharma, uh, a fair amount of requests outside the Des Moines area. And it's just so hard for me to get to because it is two round trips. Uh, we right. come, we set up, um, make it look amazing. And then we do come back, break it down, take it home. No stress, no work for, but it is a lot of driving. Um, yeah. So I do try to organize it, keeping my, I can only do so many out of Ankeny, but then Ankeny I can get to pretty easy where I can get to their house and back to my house and to reload kind of thing. Right. Um, right. Yeah, it is kind of a juggle. Sometimes <laughs> I mean, I, I have posted pictures on my Facebook of my van just like completely maxed out. <laughs> it's like no more parties. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna have to go all the way home and drop this off just to pick up two more. Like <laughs> right, right. That's that's amazing. I'm so happy of how much it's taken off and over the year. I mean, you're so, and I if I remember seeing you're booked. Are you booked through June or are you booked through? I mean, you're coming up. Yeah, so we're booked all through May, um, okay. and then I'm booked. I think pretty much like mid June. Okay, um, and there's some some dates left at the end. And like I said, I 
I do get some requests right before, you know, a couple weeks out for Ankeny, and I can get to them a little. So if yeah. you're Ankeny, <laughs> I can get a little to them bit easier. easier. Um, it's just the, you know, the further West Des Moines, Norwalk, that kind of stuff. I really have to plan ahead for those because I only have so much space. So right. And so if uh, for everyone who's listening, um, you know, if you're watching the replay later, we'll make sure we drop the website link in the comments and drop your questions. But if people do want to learn more or register, or, you know, sign up, how, how do they go about doing that? Um, so the best way is to go to the website, um, okay. www.letslumberit.com. Um, I do get people contacting me through Facebook and Instagram and stuff, and I can't get back to you, but the, the best way is through the website. That way it comes through my email and, and it's here in my system and I can get all the information um, from you and we can try to work out dates, that kind of stuff. Right. So, yeah. But I mean, definitely a follow on or um, Instagram or a like on Facebook will get you kind of seeing what I got going on and new stuff. And so I post there pretty regularly. Try to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you you always are um, involved in some fun giveaways, too. So it's always always a perk to follow you. So, you know, like what's happening. <laughs> yeah. We do some local collabs with people and then we do have um, we're um, participating in uh, Make-A-Wish. The, oh, they're yeah. made for Scala. Um, yeah, that's a really fun one. That I mean, I was awesome. I reached out to Culver's Confections and Exo Balloons and Stuff a Buddy, and they were more than willing to jump right in. And we got an awesome package on there. So check that out too on there. That's amazing. Website. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today and talking about all of the Let's Slumber It Tiki parties and the <laughs> new creative way to have a birthday party. Um, do you have anything else you want to mention before we sign off? No, um, I think that's about it. Just kind of check out what's going on. We got some new stuff coming and thank you so much for all your support. Of course. Um, I mean, you've, you've been there since before we were anything. So I really, really appreciate it. It really got yes. the there and, and awesome. your constant support really. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you. And if, again, if you guys are watching the replay, definitely drop any questions or comments below and we'll keep an eye on those and make sure we get those answered. Um, but everyone have a wonderful Wednesday. Hopefully the snow is done for <laughs> the rest of the season. I don't know. Maybe it'll snow again tomorrow. Who knows? But um, happy Wednesday. Have a great day, you guys. Thank you.